Hey, what's up guys? It's a uh, Artbook Addiction here, and we're here with a new Artbook review. So today, we're gonna be looking at Lustful Devils um, by Hughes, okay? So, uh, Hughes is a pretty big artist online. Um, I love uh, his work, and clearly, you know, it's of the mm, nature, right? You know, very, ooh, very cultured, you get what I'm saying, right? So if you're afraid of cultured content, Step away, dude. Step away. Okay. If you're not, if you don't want to see some Makima, dude, in the lewd, okay, get away. All right. Because this is this is all that. Okay. This is amazing. Okay. Um, it's gonna be a shorter book, but you know, short but sweet, right? Um, I just got this in the mail the other day, um, and I just wanted to, you know, show it to you guys. Um, but yeah, that's what we'll be looking at today. Before we start the video, please hit that like, hit that subscribe. Check out my Prince of Patreon if you want to support the channel instead of becoming a channel member. And with that, let's get into it. Okay, so uh, before we get in, let's look at the cover. Uh, yeah, dude. Very nice, very nice. You know, Makima in the morning, just getting, you know, dressed up. She's got the lingerie, right? <clears throat> um, you know, if this is that kind of like um like kind of like office worker classy woman businesswoman look right um that that's going to be kind of present in this in this book right it's it's kind of like a theme you know what i mean um but yeah you know it's beautiful you know modern sexy dude right it's great i love the expression and the way the light is kind of like falling in you know what i mean um <clears throat> yeah really really good the only thing that i don't really like about hughes is um sometimes his line work can be a little messier than i'd like for the finished product you know what i mean right but besides that his his finish is always really really nice um and i i love his work dude right so let's get into this <clears throat> here we go so this is the preface it right Thank you for purchasing this book. And yes, I like Makima too much. Okay, right? Remember this statement, okay? Because it's gonna play into later in the book, right? But here we go. I guess this is another Makima, right? And she's um, business casual, you know, walking forward, right? Um, but you can see how like, you can see what I mean about the, the messy line work, right? But it's still good, it's still really good. It's just, I wish it was like <coughs> slightly more refined. Sorry if I'm coughing, it's really dry right now. Okay, so we got Makima, and she's uh, showing off the goods, right? She's doing the uh, the Jacko pose, right? Very nice. Yeah. Dude, Makima, you know, like, I gotta say, dude. I gotta say, right? When it comes to fandom art, right? Um, the people who love Makima are all really fucking good at art, dude. Okay, right? Um, I don't know what it is, right? You know, like, you see the Kobeni artists, right? And they're, like, they're trying, dude. You know, they're trying, right? They're, like, you know, you get some decent ones. You know what I mean? But Makima, dude, okay? All her art is just boom, boom, boom. Excellent, dude, right? And I don't know what it is, but, like, there, there is that, like, that skill that loves the, the, the most toxic waifu possible, dude, right? Oh, so it is in the book. Very nice. Okay. Yeah, you get to see it a little bit, uh, you know, less uh, covered up by the text, right? Yeah, beautiful. Here she is uh, sitting by the coffee table. See, you know, again, just a classy woman, right? Uh, drinking, drinking maybe some coffee, maybe some tea, you know, right? And you can see the red glowing through, okay? That's, that's the, uh, not ambient occlusion, um... Uh, what is it called? Surface scattering? Subsurface scattering? I don't know, whatever. It's when when you look at, you know, look something through the light and it becomes red, okay? Either that or it's maybe her her bra showing through, okay? Or the the heat, okay, that is Makima coming through. Very nice. <clears throat> yeah. Again, like, I just wish you would, like, See this part right here? It's like kind of messy. And you know, usually I like that kind of stuff, right? But it's, I feel like there's parts where it's like, like you see right here, this was clearly part of the bush, right? But this is like kind of coming through on top, you know? 
Um, I'd say just clean it up a little bit. Clean it up. Because it's, it's, it's like right there. You know what I mean? Let's see. So, here we go. On the left, we have uh, some Makima ass, right? Very nice. Um, I like the little warm tones he's bringing in to the to the pants. You know what I mean, usually it would just be a flat black, but he's putting in these purplish warm tones, you know, to just add a little bit of depth to the to the ass, right? Very nice. Um, you see, we got power, we got reze, right? You know, and if you know, you know, right? You know what I mean? Let's see. We have a uh, nurse Makima. And we have Denji over here. He's probably like passed out from, from uh, you know, getting teased too much, right? Um, and yeah, I like this. I like this uh, outfit right here. Yeah, it's like a you know sexy nurse, but there's like this little red accent. That's nice because you know with the red hair. Um, let's see. You can see that it's in like kind of like a almost like a fisheye perspective, right? That's pretty cool. Very nice. <clears throat> oh my god. Okay. So on the left, we got Makima getting dogged. Okay. Remember, this is this is a uh, Hughes. Okay. So you get what I'm saying, dude? Right. Um. We'll see if this uh, affects my channel. Okay. You know what I mean? You know, I've been I've always been brave with the with the uh, the AI that, that could detect, you know what I mean, right? So we'll see what happens. This is a nice piece, right? Um, a little messy, you know, like I said, clean it up a little bit, right? Um, here we go, this one on the right. See, this one is nice and cleaned up, okay? This is very, very nice. You get a little bit of, a little bit of, ooh, right? A little bit of ah, right? Very, very nice. Um, at first, I didn't know who this character was on the left, but she is from, I think, Jujutsu Kaisen, right? Which I haven't seen, so I don't really, I don't really know. But you know, you can see right here that this is a, a smorgasbord, okay, a buffet for for any man to love. You get what I'm saying, dude? Look at that. And you can see the the two different flavors, right? Like the dom versus the sub. You know what I mean? Uh, I don't really know this character, but you know what I mean? So it's 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 that nice counterplay between the two elements. Like you have you have the facial, uh, emotional aspect, right? And then you have the the booty versus the the, the front. You know what I mean? Right? That's excellent. Okay. <clears throat> Here you go. Here's where I might get in trouble, right? With a little bit of nip action. But I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna go for it. You know, I you know I try not to censor my shit, so. Uh, you never know what's gonna happen. Let's see. Um, we have some nice booba. Very, very nice. I like this expression right here. You know, it's very like, um, like you know those uh, early two thousands like music videos, right? Where it's like they're up against the wall. You know what I mean? Excellent, dude. This one's nice too. <clears throat> Not gonna try to stay too long. So that the the bots will get us, but you know, take a nice, a nice gander, right? Nice little gander, right? And then we're gonna move on. Okay. So we have a bunny outfit, right? See, Jujutsu Kaisen. That's that's like this guy with the pink hair. That's how I I recognized it. <clears throat> but yeah, we have the bunny outfit. Okay, very very nice. Yeah. Not much to say. You know what I mean? We have this one with just like fucking going boom, right? Just grabbing, dude. You know what I mean? Wow. You can see a little bit of the the outline of the of the nip, right? Very nice. Um, yeah, it's a nice illustration. I like that. You can see that he put a a little thing like a, as an advertisement, I guess. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, very nice. Okay, so we got Yor from Spy Family, right? Yeah. Yeah, Yor, she's great, dude. She is, she is, ooh, you know what I mean? 
Wow. You can see the skulls in the background. That's cool. Yeah, dude, his art is great, dude. I'm telling you, his art is like, like, wow. You know what I mean? Beautiful. This reminds me of um, of a Gil Elgren pinup, right? There was one where like there's this woman sitting on a on like a bear pelt, right? And this kind of gives me a similar vibe. You know what I mean? Yeah, really nice. Okay, so we have Yor in the elevator, right? And um, oh my God, you see she got a little squiggly right here. Yeah, a little squiggly, right? What that is? What that is, I'll let you interpret. Maybe it's a mistake. Maybe he just like, like, uh-oh, I just forgot um, a line there. You know what I mean? I just forgot something. But, you know, the implications are clear, okay? They are very clear. If you are of cultured descent, you understand the implications, right? Very nice. I like the kind of, like, verticalness of this piece. You know what I mean? It's like, you know what I mean? It's, like, it's got that that uh, three-point perspective, you know what I mean? Yeah, very nice. She's looking at you like, yeah, that just happened. <laughs> that just made me think of the Forspoken dialogue, you know? Uh, you know. I just blew shit up with my mind, dude. I guess that's a thing I do now, you know? Fucking, wow, fucking stupid. God, dialogue is so trash now in modern fucking media. It's like, oh my god. Okay. So we got more your, more your. Very nice. Okay. You know, obviously you can see that Hughes is a man of the booba. Okay, the booba, right? All about it, dude. All about it. Very, very nice. One side office, other side, uh, like sweater weather, right? Awesome, dude. Wow. That one's nice. I love the way the light comes in and is hitting this. That's beautiful, dude. Wow. Her expression is great, too. Yeah, this is a good one. This one's really good. Yeah, this one is, is good, but like this one has that like extra, extra level, you know what I mean? Wow. Your, 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 you naughty minx, Jesus, whoa. Oh my God. So yeah, as you can see, your is, uh, you know, showing us the business, right? I like, you know, I like the styling of the, of the lingerie. That's really nice. Wow. That's naughty, dude. I love, her, I love her expression, too. She's like, yeah, this is happening, dude. Get fucking ready, bitch. Like, oh, shit, dude. Yeah. Awesome. <clears throat> okay, so we have uh, the other end of your, right? Looking very, very nice. You know, she's playing with the daughter. You know, she's having a good time, right? Um, you know, and she's being, she's being a mom, right? And she's being a mommy at the same time. You get what I'm saying? Right? She's, she's, you know, helping out Anya, right? Giving her, like, lessons on cleaning, right? Oh, you clean like this, right? And then for daddy, dude, she's giving the real lesson. She's like, yo, I want uh, a child between both of us, okay? A blood child. You get what I'm saying, dude? Right? Trying to make way for the next generation. You get what I'm saying, dude? <laughs> She's looking forward into the future. Oh, here we go. We got Drunk Yor, where she... She go wild, okay? She go wild and violent, okay? And violent. Don't forget that, dude. But that's okay. We love her anyway. We just hope that she just won't murder us, right? Um, here we go. Let's see. Let's see if we can get a better angle on that wine, right? Very nice. Your life. That's that. That'd be a cool brand. Yeah. 
Um, again, I like that, that, that red. It's really, it's like a really strong red. You know what I mean? To emphasize the booba, right? Very nice. Yeah. But you can see, uh... You can see, uh, what do you call it? Uh, what's his name? Um, Twilight? Ah, oh, fuck. Uh, God, his name is... Whatever. Who cares, dude? Okay? Who cares about the guy's name, dude? Alright? You know, he's a good he's a good character, okay? Don't don't get me wrong, alright? I just forgot his name. It's like, uh, like, Loose? No. Something with an L. Whatever. You guys, you guys will remind me. It doesn't matter. Here we go. We have Anya. Oh, dude, the plan worked. Oh my god, dude. I wasn't even. I didn't even realize. Okay, I didn't even realize I was. I was making that joke, and then boom. Guess what, dude? Anya now has a sister and or brother. Right. Very very nice. Okay. Right. All that hard work that she was doing paid off, dude. All right. Paid off in dividends okay wow look at that she got that she got that prego going on dude <laughs> look at that wow good job dude good job okay so now we have uh let's see what's name mari from <sighs> what's called Suno Bisdol, uh, my dress up darling. Yeah, yeah. I yeah, I love this character. She is great. You know what I mean. Um, I'm not usually the biggest fan of like uh, blonde Japanese characters. I get. I guess it doesn't really matter. But like, like, um, cause you know when it's like a, an anime, but it's like more realistic. You know what I mean? And they're like, like, oh yeah, clearly this character dyed their hair, and they're like, you know. You know what I mean? Um, but, you know, in this case, I like her. I mean, she's got a good personality. Um, and, uh, you know, other things. Other things besides personality. You get know what I'm saying? Right? But I'm not usually, like, a, a big fan of, uh, like, the long nails, guy roo, eye contact look. But, you know, um, she won me over, dude. You know, she won me over. Because she's great, dude. In many ways. Okay. Right? <laughs> Yeah, and this one, she's like, she's like, oh man, it's a little steam in here, right? And then this one, she's showing off a little bit. You know what I mean? I like that. I like that the guy is, uh, is like, oh, I don't know, dude. And like, almost in a way, he's so pure that he doesn't really think about it in that way. You know, he's just thinking about like, oh, the what's the 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 outfit? You know what I mean? Like, what's the measurements? You know what I mean? Does she look good in it? You know what I mean? Is it right? You know, and I, I like that. There's that there's that focus, dude. Okay. <laughs> Damn. He's not cultured, but he lives a cultured life. You get what I'm saying, dude? Awesome. Yeah, this one's great, dude. This one is fantastic. Just a little bikini action. You know what I mean? I like the little little sparkles right here. That's great. Yeah, I see that most of his um, illustrations are like. The light is behind the person, and then like um, we're, they're mostly actually in shadow, right? So you have like that nice rim lighting. I just I just noticed that. <laughs> yeah, very good. <clears throat> Here we go. So we have more uh, Mari, right? I think that's her name. I'm pretty sure. Wow. Again, the the back lighting, right? Coming forward, and then. Kind of like taking over the front right there so it's all it's all reflective light <laughs> beautiful dude yeah dude soak it in dude soak it in this time she's turned got that little bit of lingerie going on very very nice yeah <clears throat> sorry my allergy has been going off let's see and this one, she is in the bedroom, okay? And she's like, yo, come here. Come get some, dude. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. This one, again, it needs a little bit more finishing, right? There's a lot of 
loose line work. You guys probably can't see it. You know what I mean? It's probably just me nitpicking, but um, this is one of those where it's like, just like, oh, just clean up a little bit more, just clean it up, and it would be fantastic, dude. Um, I mean, it is fantastic, but like, there are things that can be distracting. You know what I mean? <laughs> Especially for digital, because, um, what do you call it? People zoom in, you know what I mean? And, and, uh, the line work is more visible, I guess. I don't know. I, I, I don't really know how to describe it. Oh, and here we go. We got my girl, Kobeni, right? I love Kobeni, okay? I'm a huge Kobeni fan, right? Um, despite my statements on uh, Makima having the better artists, right? I like Kobeni more as a, as a, you know, as a waifu, I guess. I don't know. I don't really know how to describe it. I like, I like her because she's pathetic, okay? And she's like, ooh, 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 clumsy, you know what I mean? Right? The, the obvious reasons to love Kobeni, right? Um, the thing is, is that most of the time, the, her her artists or her fan artists are like you know they're okay you know what i mean that's the problem i want there to be more of like this quality you know what i mean of art and i'd be like yes that would make me very happy because she's actually like my favorite girl from the series <laughs> yeah look at her she's so cute dude i love this i love this uh like uh what is it called um i was gonna say pantaloons um these like stockings right you know what i mean um, yeah, I like, I like, I really like the finish on this one. This one is really fantastic. Got that office worker kind of vibe. You know what I mean? It's awesome. Um, is that a bus? Oh, it's her car. Oh, it's her car that, uh, you know, sadly does not make it, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Cute. Here we go. So here she is. Unfortunately, we don't really have that much Maki or uh, Kobeni in the book. You know, not like Makima. But still enjoyable. Still really love it. So in this one, she's uh, you know, a little covered up with the suit right there. But um, still presenting, right? Still like, here I am, right? Rocky like a hurricane, all right? Beautiful. Yeah, you can see she has like kind of like a nervous smile you know what i mean and there's something i don't know there's something about her you know what i mean i i think people like um her kind of like nervous energy like you could tease her very easily she's very reactive you know what i mean like i don't know she's like she's fun to bully you know what i mean you kind of just want to bully her right um i don't know what it is dude right but it definitely activates my uh bully senses okay right and then you add like a little bit of like booba like sexual energy right and it's like it's like you know then it becomes like i want to i want to be dominant you know what i mean right and that's cute I, li I like that she you know she has that she brings that out in people you know what i mean <laughs> nice okay i'll get to it okay let's look at reze first okay so we got reze um and she's looking fine dude she's looking great um you know, she, she'll, she'll blow you up, dude. But that's, dude, you know what? That is, like, every girl in, uh, Chainsaw Man, okay? They're all trying to kill you, you know what I mean? They're all trying to flash some titty, right? And then Moira, right? But you know how it is, right? Denji, he, he, uh, you know, he's Chainsaw Man, you know, it's just gonna happen. It's just what happens in the territory. You get what I'm saying, right? You can see we have a nice, um... A nice scene right here you know with the light again the backlighting right and it's like we're like in some fancy hotel room okay and Reze is just like oh and we're like oh me oh my right i love how they're all wearing fucking lingerie right um but you know that's that's the theming of this book right that's that's the what you what is advertised right yeah she's beautiful <clears throat> i like i like that she has like the green eyes to contrast with the purple hair, you know what I mean? Green and purple are like like a weird color mixture that works, you know what I mean? So it's cool to see that in uh, the design, right? Very nice. Okay, so we have uh, Himeno, um, every, everybody's favorite party girl, right? Honestly, I am not the biggest Himeno fan. I know, don't, you're gonna fucking crucify me for that shit, right? But. Um, I'm gonna say, dude, I am not the hugest, uh, Himeno fan, right? Um, I don't really like the super forward characters, right? You know what I mean? That's why I like Kobeni, 
uh, and Makima more, I guess. You know what I mean? I guess Makima's pr still pretty forward, but not in, like, the trashy Himeno way. You get what I'm saying? Right? Um, but yeah, I tend to like the the other characters more. But Himeno, you know, she's a fan favorite, you know? She and she do what she do, right? And everybody love her, right? So this is for you guys, right? You know, I still like it, you know what I mean? I'm not, I'm not, you know, like, I like Booba. I like, you know, you know what I mean? I was not, I'm not gonna ignore it, right? But I have to acknowledge that I am not um, a big fan as other people. I like the other girls a little bit more, right? But this is for you guys. Enjoy. Very nice. Okay. Um, we got power, right? Again, power, like, not the hugest fan of power, right? Um, in terms of, like, the, you know, the fan art or the, just her, her bratty attitude, right? But that's part of it, you know, like, but she is a fun character, though uh, very useless in a fight, okay? You know what I mean? You know, you know what's funny? I always thought when I saw uh, material for her before, um before i actually read it when i actually like i was like oh dude she's probably like you know brash but she's like strong and like no dude she's not strong at all dude she fucking gets her ass whooped you know what i mean um she uh what do you call it she doesn't actually contribute to the fight she'll she'll, she'll like she'll like give up denji or some shit you know what i mean it's like i don't know she's not like a huge powerful uh character which you would expect from this kind of character you know which is uh, kind of like a subversion of that trope, you know what I mean? Yeah, but yeah, she's cute, you know what I mean? Uh, you know, if you like, if you like the the trashy mom, you know, dude. Um, what do you call it? The guy who makes a uh, chainsaw man, he loves his tr uh, trashy waifus, doesn't he? Right. Yeah, but she's cute. She's cute. You know, I can't. You know, what can I say, dude? Okay, so now we have. Uh, Asa, or uh, I guess Yoru in this in this case, right? Um, dude, finish it up, dude. Right? You can see right here, it's it's very very messy, right? The rest of the image is pretty good, but um, you gotta finish your work, dude. You know what I mean? Because it's it's so it, like because the image is really nice, but the finish is not quite there, right? Not quite. You can see right here in the in the robes is all the stuff. You know what I mean? Um, right here in the rendering of her belly, this is too sharp, you know, they, like, you can see right here, he softened it, but over here, um, it needs to be figured out, you know what I mean, right, not necessarily softened or hardened, but, like, to, um, sculpt it better, you know what I'm saying, right, yeah, but, you know, Yoru, I love her, I like, I like Asa, right, she is, um, She's a weirdo, dude. She is a weirdo, right? Um, but I like that about her. You know what I mean, like, like I like that this story is full of like weirdo characters that are like, you know, very socially awkward. You know what I mean? Um, and and Asa is definitely socially awkward. Okay, if that's if she has a personality trait, that would be it, right? Okay, so we got more uh, Yoru, right? Um, oh my God. And she is uh, clearly presenting, right? Presenting very well. Um, oh my god! Once again, too scratchy, man. Too scratchy. Oh, dude, that hand is like barely done, dude. You know what I mean? But the but I get the feeling. You know, I like the feeling. I like that that little bit of, um, I guess uh, color dodge, right? That little that little touch of red, you know, to add that that warmth. You know what I mean? Right? Um, if you're, if you're drawing a, um, a, a, a figure, right, and it's, it's feeling, like, kind of, like, lifeless, you know what I mean? Kind of feeling like, like, oh, there's something kind of missing, right? Just add a little bit of red, usually, okay? Add a little bit of red, a touch of red, um, it'll spring the, um, the figure to life, okay? So that's, that's something that's very important to to do if you you know if you're struggling with you know making something feel uh more alive right <clears throat> okay so we have uh uh Raisalyn stout okay let's see i actually played atelier because of her yeah i mean you know she is the main reason to play the game you get what i'm saying right um i actually got the game 
uh, didn't not the biggest fan of the gameplay, right? You know, I w I wanted to stay for the uh, what do they call her? The thick thick master general, right? I wanted to stay with her, right? But you know, the gameplay is like you know a little too um, I don't know, like it's too tedious, too much menuing, right? It's bad for my hands. Um, that's why I can I can no longer play any like JRPGs or a game with um, uh, extensive menuing, right? Yeah, unfortunate, but that's just the way it is sometimes, right? Yeah. Okay, so we have uh, we got Mashu right here. Um, I'm not a fa I'm not a fate guy, but I know um, I have friends who are fate people, so I know her, right? See perfect uh, Nerutare material. I don't know why people like to draw her in that situation always. Okay. Yeah. She's cute. You know, got her like gym outfit on, right? A little bit of sweat, right? Very, very nice. She's a cutie. Yeah. I guess, um, huge NTR person, I guess. I don't know. Don't really know much about the character, but you know, there you go. I've, I just feel like N pff, NTR is just the biggest fucking category, right? You know? Let's see. Eris Boreas Grey, Grey Rat. Red haired chick. I actually like the show. I like her even more as she matured. Okay. So she's from, I think, Mashoko Tensei, right? Uh, I never saw the show. Um, I heard it's really good, but then I had a friend who was like, like, you know, like the, apparently there's like a erectile dysfunction arc, right? And he's like, you don't want to see that. And I'm like, I guess, you know, I was, I was willing to watch the show, but you know, if it leads to like a terrible, you know, fucking ED arc, you know what I mean? Then like, I, I, I don't know. It's one of those things, you know what I mean? Like where it's like, um, you know. It, when a when a show like eventually leads to something that's like like okay that this arc is just horrible like it makes you just not it kind of makes you lose steam for the show you know what i mean uh, but yeah i like her design i really like her design um she's cute i like her on the bed right um yeah very nice she's like kind of shy you know what i mean right I, I think she's like the sundere character right but yeah she's cute i like her Never knew her name though, till today. She's a gray rat. Okay, Mori Calliope. Okay, so this is a VTuber, I believe, right? Um, a very popular one, because I see art of her all the time, right? Let's see. Thanks to the Trash Taste podcast members, she became a top holo, holo mem for me, but still, I like Pokemame more. Okay. Yeah, I'm not in. I'm not a streamer human, so I'm not really um, into that, you know, whole thing. But you know, if you, I'm not judging if you are, right? You know, this it's a huge market. A lot of people are into it, right? Uh, but just not for me, right? She is cute though. I like this that kind of angle that like it's like you know what I mean? Yeah. That's cute. I like the art. Yeah, see, this is so much more finished than the other pieces, right? See, this is the kind of finish that I would like for all the pieces, you know what I mean? Just just clean it up a bit, you know what I mean? Yeah, because it's like, because uh, the render is fantastic, you know? It's just the the messy line work that ends up getting in the way, you know what I mean? Right, like right here, see? Shh. Like, this, this messiness, it's very, like, um, it's something that I would see more from like an amateur artist, right? But clearly this guy's not an amateur, so... You know what I mean? It just looks more like a, like a sketch. Here we go. Yamato. I just wish Luffy find one piece already. Yamato has plenty of it. Not just one, but two big one pieces. Okay, that's funny. She got the one piece here. She got the second piece over there. Two large pieces ready for the taking, dude. Yeah. Um, I don't know this character. She's cute, though. Don't really know her. Yeah. Okay. We're, we're reaching up upon the end of the book. Oh, that's it. There you go. 
There you go. I love Makima-san's ass. Well, there you go. What can what more can we say, right? Here we go. Um, afterward, thank you again for purchasing this fan book. It was a boring two years since the lockdown. I couldn't re really make actually make another set of works completed due to whatever happened. It was hard to deal with at the time, so I did a bunch of Makima, Your Forger, Nobara, and Mar Marin. Oh, her name is Marin. Oh my God. Um, it was fun making these. P.S. Here's a rejected sketch I made of Your Forger. She's one hell of an assassin, dude. Look at that, see? Beautiful. Wow. Honestly, this one would have been great to finish. That's really good. There we go. We have a little links for you guys. I don't know if you can, you know, take a snapshot of that. But, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's huge. He's a big artist, so not, not really, not really that crazy. There you, go. you can see his, uh, his Twitter right there, at Hughes. Right. Um, Trigger GGXRD is my favorite OST. Don't know what that is. Okay. But yeah. Okay. So we've reached the end of the book. Let's take a look at the back. This is actually what I wanted to show you guys the most. Okay. This this beautiful line. Okay. All right. So we have some, first. Let's look at the art. Don't look at this first. We're, we have the art. Okay. Uh, we got Makima like that deep red really like that again the the rim lighting you know very very nice okay and here we go i never wanted to breed more with anyone uh no i wanted to i never wanted to breed with anyone more than i wanted to with makima that perfect curvy body those beautiful breasts the childbearing hips of a literal goddess it's honestly it honestly fucking hurts knowing that i'll never mate with her pass my genes through her and have her birth a set of perfect offspring. I'd fucking do anything for the chance to get Makima pregnant. Anything. And the fact that I can't is quite honestly too much to fucking bear. Why would, uh, why would Fujimoto create something so perfect uh, to fucking tantalize us? Fucking laugh in our faces. Honestly, you guys, I just wanna, f I just fucking can't anymore. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah this is the artist expressing his unbridled unfiltered love for makima you know what i mean and you know i gotta say it's just i just i respect that you know what i mean like you know what i mean makima seems very breedable right that's like almost like her gimmick dude right um it's too bad she's you know the end of the world she's in she's a fucking uh apocalypse entity right you know it's just one of those things you know what i mean it's just one of those things um but yeah um honestly the only reason i wanted to show you this book was to show you this line right here this beautiful um statement that just really sums up uh people's love for makima and this book and like this artist's love for makima you know what i mean so yeah it's fantastic all right um let's flip this book over and enter the review portion All right, guys, let us enter the review portion for Lustful Devils, okay, Hughes Artworks, all right? Um, you guys saw it, dude. It was fantastic. Um, it's a small book, but, you know, it's one of those Japanese, um, like, little, like, Kamaket doujinshi books, you know what I mean, right? It didn't cost that much. I think it was, like, maybe, like, 10, 10 bucks US or some shit like that, right? You know, and then you have to factor in shipping and all that stuff, right? Um... This book is, um, I guess, harder to get on because you need it probably you probably need to have a um, a fulfillment service, right? Like Tenso or um, Big in Japan or something like that, right? But you know, it's relatively cheap as a book, right? Um, yeah. So uh, maybe maybe get a couple books together and then have and then have Tenso ship it to you or whatever shipping service you might want, right? Um, yeah, it's a great book, dude. Great stuff. I love Makima. Um, I love Kobeni. I love all the, 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 I love Chainsaw Man in general, right? So if you're a big fan of that, you know, you could definitely purchase this book. You know, you're not going to be disappointed. Um, you know, and Hughes as an artist is just fantastic. You probably, if you didn't know about him, right? Check him out. His work is fantastic. 
Um, I really, really enjoyed, um, I just enjoy his work in general. Um, and I joined this book, right? It's a nice little book um, full of a lot of like, ooh, a lot of great material, right? Um, yeah, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this book. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Please, if you enjoyed it, hit that like, hit that subscribe. Check out my Prince of Patreon if you want to support the channel. Consider becoming a channel member. Ring that bell for notification, all that bullshit. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Thanks a lot.